Hello everybody, welcome back to the NASCAR 14 Let's Play. <clears throat> and so, I got Stanley as a sponsor, guess what I did with it? I made a freaking Matt Kenza throwback to his rookie season and his Bush Series races where he had this DeWalt scheme too. So, and since it's on a Chevy, it's basically a throwback of the same manufacturer and almost the same sponsor, but not really the same sponsor, but whatever. So I qualified 31st. I am not too hopeful about this race because my car cannot handle good at all, no matter what adjustments I try to make to it. So I'm just going to see how well I can try to try to make it, because it's going to be freaking terrible. It is going to be terrible. I hope the game will just load. Hi everyone, Mike Joy and Daryl Walter welcoming you to the Tricky Triangle, the very unique Pocono International Raceway for today's Pocono There's me. 400. Mike, this place is crazy fast. It's unbelievable how fast they're turning this two and a half mile racetrack. The wall on the straightaway, watch these guys make their way down through here as they try to pick a draft up off of each other. Daryl, this race a hundred miles shorter than last year. Will that make a difference? It's going to make a huge difference. You can go flat out, but one thing you have to always remember, fuel mileage. Keep that in the back of your mind. Right. If you run out of gas on the front straightaway here, it's a long way around this unique trial. Very true. This race is pretty difficult. Um, the only way I would do well is if this was... Whoa, what the hell? I don't remember having it on this setting. Weird. But yep, yeah, and I also made the sponsors like what they were back when... that Because I got the die cast of this car. So I just kind of copied and pasted it. <laughs> but okay, here we go. Josh Wise once again started on the pole for some reason. <laughs> Even though he was in the back. <laughs> the Tony's actually got the pole. I'm fucking with you. But okay. Let's try not to screw up into turn one. Alright, good run. Everybody's getting better runs outside. Ah, dang it. Never mind. Now I'm stuck outside. 35th. Okay, so basically, I want to make it one lap without crashing anybody when I'm running in the pack. Because this is going to be free. Pretty difficult. No, 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 no. I'm at the wall. Ah. Oh. I killed my throwback. Well, never mind. It, 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 it got some chunks off of it, but it's still drivable. And it still looks good. I just gotta not die. Ah, dang it. I thought I'd fix my adjustments before this. I guess I didn't. Then again, I haven't played this game in a couple weeks. Okay, so a 54 second lap to start this off. That's great. Jeff Gordon's got the lead now. Alright, let's see what I can do in turn one. And I can do nothing. You can do nothing because you can't do like what mate, nope, that's wrong. I said that quote wrong, never mind. It's okay here. Uh let's see what I can do in turn two then. There we go, much better. Didn't get off of it like I wanted to, but much better. And, oh crap. Nobody's fallen off the draft yet. That's great. Because this game just loves its pack racing. Uh, at least this is in the Brickyard. Well, no. I do better at the Brickyard than I do at this race. I'd rather be racing at the Brickyard. <laughs> so that was a 51 second lap. Everybody else is like... Oh, Fred Biffle's got two seconds over me, man. That's pretty freaking remarkable. First is in front by eight seconds. No, duh. Because Greg Biffle freaking dominated so far this year in terms of laps led. At least in this season. So it's just, uh... I'm gonna see what I can do. Uh, there we go. Much better turn two that time. There we go. Now we're starting to set a faster pace. But we're not catching up to anybody. Which is just perfect. Right, there we go. Oh my god, they're already four seconds. Wise is already four seconds ahead of me. That's just great. Oh yeah, apparently NASCAR Heat 3, you can do this again. Which is the best thing ever. I was so mad when Heat Evolution came out and you couldn't do that anymore. But that's pretty freaking great, amazing that they brought that back. All right, there we go. We're still going fast. We got ourselves in a 50-second lap, that last one, but we are falling off. I also made this race extra long. 
Not only did I make this race extra long, I also made the tire wear like extremely absurd and along with the fuel wear. I don't even think we're going to make it 10 laps before people start pitting. There we go. We're going to hit that apron. Well, not really an apron, but you know what I mean. And we're not going to run a faster lap this time. Most because I kind of screwed up in turn two. Nobody's falling off the draft. Again. I don't know how you can even do pack racing in this. I don't even know how you can do pack racing right on Pocono. Like, if they do the new, the, um, sprint, not the sprint, uh, the, the plate racing package for the mile and a half tracks, I'd highly doubt that would go over well. I highly doubt it. I mean, maybe do it for a couple races, like, like as a special thing, but, like, like, do it for, like, the all-star race, but, like, don't do it for a mainline event. That's just, good. that's just not gonna go well. Alright, there we go. Alright, so basically right now I'm just going to try to save as much fuel as I can because people are going to start pitting, inevitably so. Got through five laps. Car mostly good shape. Just going to let off the gas a little bit and then brake so I don't hit the wall. Going slower. That's great. I do like this car though. I like looking at it. I like looking at it. It's a really nice car. Okay, here we go. Good run out of that corner that time. Much better run. Now let's see if I can try to do it again here. But yeah, man, like Tony started on the pole. He's been having bad luck when he's gotten the pole because he was leading the point standings for a couple la couple races. But he's had the pole, like, what, three times this season? Every time he has the pole, something happens that makes him lose his lead. So I'm just like, what the heck? And Biffle's always up there at the front. I mean, when I first did my Let's Play of it, well, not my Let's Play of it, when I first played this game, like, raw, like, just playing it just for the hell of it, I, uh, back, Greg Biffle won this point standings like he was like dominant the whole freaking season he had like five wins i'm pretty sure by the time the season was over not the greatest turn two in the world but we're running a little bit faster than our fastest lap which is great okay let's try to do this corner a little better no we're losing the speeds we're losing speed oh there we go ah oh, dang it hit the wall again okay not too bad 50-44 now, but we're still like a second and a half off of that. Oh, people are pitting already. Awesome. Now I'm in eight. Oh, no, now I'm in 31st. I looked at the position thing, not the, not the, I looked at the, I looked at the lap thing, not the position thing. <laughs> I know, bro. Just let me, let me, let me do me. You do you. Huh. The left sides actually aren't wearing all that bad. I might just take two tires on this next stop. Of course, I still have to stop the same amount of time if I wouldn't. Oh, Biffle pitted. Kozlowski got the lead now. But anyway, yeah, I would still have to stay in the pit lane for the same amount of time as I would do for to do a fourth tire stop because I need to put a full tank of gas in there, but... Yeah, fuck it. All right, there we go. More positions. Got ourselves in the top ten now. That was fast. Okay, here we go. Oh, don't hit the wall. There we go. I'm going to try to see if I can stay out just one more lap. Or two more, maybe. You can stretch fuel pretty well here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! Not that much damage, still. Ryan Newman takes the lead. There we go. Oh, crap. Try not to hit the wall. There we go. It's 13 seconds ahead. I'm going to go around a few more cars. Now I'm in third. I know, bro. I'm stuck unless I get to pit road. Well, I'm st well actually, I'm going to try to see if I can at least lead a lap. Newman pits this lap. 
and I come down to pit the next lap, I will still be able to lead at least one lap. Alright. Ah, no, no, no. Oh man, that was close. Nope, Newman's staying out. I'm gonna have to pit this time. Yeah, I'm really gonna have to pit. <laughs> Not gonna risk running out of fuel. And I think this is what happened last time I tried to do this. Last time I did it, though, my Xbox kind of froze up, but... Crap. Slow, 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 slow. Crap! Well, I missed pit road. Might as well cause out a caution. I missed pit road and <laughs> it's like an idiot, so I had to cause a caution to get into pit road. <laughs> so, whoa, shit. Yeah, this could have been like the biggest wreck of the century. This could have been like that wreck at Indy, but it's like, nope, just me, uh, me messing up trying to get in a pit road because I wasn't trying to make it another lap. But at least I can pit. Okay, so me, Newman, and Truex pitted. Biffle will have the lead, predictably, at the end of this stint, but... Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I need to make some major, major adjustments here. Put a little bit more grill there, add some rubbers, fill, repair the car, mess with the tire pressure dials a little bit, and we'll see what that does. Because the car is just kind of loose, just kind of too loose, and uh, and I I could not catch up with anybody. Nobody nobody lost the draft, so I wasn't able to race with anyone either on that stint. So it's just like I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to do anything. <laughs> but you're still trying to make it good in this Matt Kenseth throwback that makes no sense racing in a Pocono. But this is gonna be my main scheme for my Stanley car, just for the fuck of it. Okay, so we're in 21st now, so at least we'll be actually be able to race with some people, and a bunch of people got the wave around because Newman pitted. So, uh, let's see what I can do. Let's see what we can do now that we're in the midway, mid, we're in the mid, middle of the field, in front of Dale, I might add, and Kenseth. Kenseth's right behind Dale. And once again, a good restart. That turns into a not-so-good restart once we get to the corner. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, not a good restart, but not so good. So, right behind David Reagan. Okay, there we go. Oh, crap. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted, because when I was racing that other time, I couldn't make it stick on the bottom. But now I'm able to make it stick on the bottom. So, th so those adjustments did something. Bad thing is everybody's still going around me. So, I don't have the speed that I want. Okay, maybe that sticks too much to the bottom. Oh, boy, Gilliland. Ah, oh, crap. And there's Menard. Here comes Kenseth again. Or maybe that was Menard that was behind Dale. Huh. Well, shout out to Menard since I got him on my car anyway. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Whoops. Oh, whoa, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I killed the other Stanley car, Marcos Ambrose. That wasn't the greatest thing in the world. Oh, crap. I killed both the Richard Petty cars, making them crash into the inside wall. But at least he has the wall on this car. I don't. Ah, look what I did to the car. I'm going to come in. So that way I can, like... Well, this kind of kills any pitch strategy I was going to try to do, but... Screw it. That was kind of a weird restart. Didn't even make it a lap. I was able to make it stick to the bottom at least, so I was doing something right. Okay, two tires. Splash. Uh, go down on the wedge. Up a little bit on the track mar, baby. Track bar, track mar, or track bar. Yeah, just look at that, man. The, the, I mean, the, the side of the car still doesn't look terrible, but I messed up the front. I messed up the front, the right front. There's a big hole in the side. There we go. Two tires. We came out in front of a couple guys. Or not, even though I came out before Kyle Busch. 
36, 34th. That's great. And Dale was Dale got the lucky dog because he was a lap down for some reason. Okay. But yeah, man, it's just the front of the car looks really out of whack. It's got a huge dent in the front of the car. But okay, we got two fresh tires, some gas, and a little bit more adjustments working for us. Yeah, racing with Harvick, trying not to make him mad like what happened with Ross Chastain. So, try not to hit him. Okay, let go of the gas. Whoa, whoa, Bernard, what did you do? Ah, uh, dang it. Oh, man, I got Bernard in the wall. No, I didn't. It actually helped him a little bit. But Johnson was just holding on. And Dale goes around, Gildan... Tries to go to the outside, Stewart. Stewart blocks. Ah, dang it, Jimmy. For a walk, Jimmy. I got Jimmy in the wall that time. And the only car that's actually that I can actually race is Marcos Ambrose now because he. Heck, maybe I won't even actually be able to mar race Marcos Ambrose. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I can use his draft if he can draft with me. Never mind. I'm actually starting to leave him away. Okay, never mind. Oh crap. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm able to keep up with them a little bit better. Like they're actually they're either slowing each other down so much that I can actually catch up with them, or I made some really good adjustments. Let's right, see what I can do it like that. There we go. That was a heck of a corner. That was a heck of a corner right there. So we're able to actually race. And Dale Earnhardt Jr. is not exactly on the draft. Oh, we got people pitting now, though. That might have been why I was actually able to catch up, but whatever. At least I'm able to race for once. And I run my fastest lap. Still nowhere close to Biffles, but we're getting there at least. All right, there we go. Holding that inside line. There we go. Held that inside line coming off a little bit faster than I did in my last lap. All right, we're, we're keeping Ambrose behind us pretty well. Oh crap. No, mess up that corner. But we're still able to keep going. Now it's starting to pull away. Here comes the other Stanley car. Wants revenge on the other Stanley car for wrecking him. Whoa, crap, that almost that almost ended up pretty bad. Okay. Let's see what I can do. So we got 39th now. There we go. Good run out of that corner. So the car's a lot faster than it was earlier. A lot faster. Now that we're actually able to run with it. Alright, there we go. Hold that apron. Or whatever the thing is. The thing you wheel hop on. We might actually be able to get ourselves a 49 second lap here. If I can just do this corner right. Nope, never mind. Not a bad corner. It's just I'm not as fast as I want to be. So I need to fix my turn turn fours. Well turn three, whatever turn it is. I need to fix my turn three exit. There we go. Now Ambrose is still sticking with me. So he may be fast, but he's still a little fast too, so we gotta keep him behind me. But we have lost the rest of the field, except for Dale Jr. because he's lost the draft again. There we go. Biffle's still dominating this race somehow. No, oh, Trevor Bain takes the lead as I think Biffle hit pit road. And so does Ambrose. Okay, so that's about when it happened on the first run where it was just pure green flag run. So Vickers got the lead now. Man, I strangely look up to more, more so than ever now because of some personal stuff, but... Ah, I hit the apron hard, and that caused the chunk to fly off. 
on this side now. That wasn't great. But anyway, that was a personal thing I was talking about there. But Trevor Bain's got the lead. Funny things. Track kind of works like Indianapolis in one corner. Trevor Bain's car, drove, driven by Matt Kenseth, nearly won the Indianapolis, the one, nearly won the Brickyard 400 yesterday. That's pretty, pretty freaking remarkable. And I am just losing speed now. I'm a second back on my normal lap time, so. Ain't that bizarre. And we're about in front of Vickers. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I really messed up in that corner. I hit the apron. I wasn't wanting to hit the apron because I don't like to because that's exactly what happens. A chunk of your car will break off and it'll spread debris everywhere. And I also lost Dale Jr. for some somehow because that's a thing. And Kevin's in front of me now. It's the next car I need to pass. Now it's Johnson. So is that still Dale? I don't know. Maybe he pitted too. I don't. I, I missed that. So Kyle Busch has got the lead. I'm going to get a couple more spots. Going to 15th now. I don't want to play. That's what I've been doing. That's, dude, that's what I've been doing. And I, as I run over my own debris. Okay, there we go. I'm try to stay in the dark stuff. And just trying to save as much gas as I can here. Best I can hope for from this race, I get a good finish. It's probably going to come on pitch strategy, not by racing, because... Oh, there goes Kyle Busch. He's pitting. Yay! And Truex is get the lead now. Funny, because uh, since he's leaving Furniture... Since Furniture Row is basically dead after this season, he won this race in that car. In 2015, he had a Denver mattress car. He took it to victory lane. And he was also the guy who was on that pitch strategy with me and Newman. At the, but he had that first caution, so that's good. So Megan Smith's in second. Still nine seconds behind. Tony's 20 seconds behind me now. Mostly because I think he was on pit road. There we go. Good turn two. And Truex is still not pitting. I'm going to try to stay up one more lap. Oh, no. Truex is pitting. I'm not going to lead this lap, though. All right. Truex leads this lap, but I'm going to take the lead this time by. Okay, so the next person in line is Trevor Bain. Hmm, maybe Trevor Bain did, did pass Biffle. Because he's got a 32... He's 32 seconds behind me. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to pit this lap. I ain't got no juice left. Oh, boy. Okay, now let's try to see, since we're halfway through the race now, if I can actually do this pit stop without running over it. Maybe that could happen. Bain gets second place back. Biffle, yep, he did pass Biffle. That's pretty crazy to think about. It's always in NASCAR games. Trevor Bain's always got good speed. Okay, there we go. 50-something miles per hour. Okay, so, uh, I'm not gonna do any, I'm gonna just gonna add some rubbers to the left sides and just do that. I'm not going to do any more adjustments because I'm afraid if I do adjustments, I'm going to screw it up. Because I was actually able to at least race with a couple of people on that strategy or on that run. So let's see what we can do here. Come on, I want to get Matt Kansas throwback car victory at a track where I'm not even sure he's won at to be honest with you. And there goes all the other guys going around me. But at least I led the lap. Okay, there we go. And we got more gas than these guys, so maybe I can lead a few more laps. Okay, let's go. We gotta step it up. Alrighty, so we're in 40th now. Danica's about to be a lap down, I guess. I don't know what that's all about. 
she's on pit road. She's 50 seconds behind me now. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So, um, that's weird. And Ambrose got ahead of me. But at least I got a couple more positions. Ah, no, no. I'm gonna hit the wall. Woo! Okay, never mind. But yeah, um, Ambrose is six seconds ahead of me. But we're... He's got a few more spots on that last pitch strategy. So that's good. Alrighty, and they're gonna get lapped up at the front of the field. Holy crap. Oh man, a car just slows down on the meter. Trevor Bain's by himself. He's fucking flying. He's gonna overtake those lap cars too. Of Danica Patrick and who else that ever was. So good job, Trevor Bain, for getting some taking advantage of some momentary confusion to get a great run. But now I'm by myself again. So what happens when you pit with only three people. Well, when you pit by yourself, actually. Okay, there we go. I at least try to get faster lap times since I'm by myself. So Bane might be the new, the new dominator. I'm not sure if he's won a race this year yet, though, in this series season. I can't remember because it's been a little bit since I played. I have short-term memory loss for some things. So let me in this corner. Trying to make it through. He not so great. So the car's not getting faster now, so maybe I should have made a little bit more adjustments on that stop. So going down the track bar, go down the wedge, and it seems the car gets a lot faster. Ah! At the wall again. A little bit more damage, but still nothing too major as people are starting to pit again. Which is amazing for me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Blech. Okay, there we go. Another good run to the corner, I guess, that time. Coming out in front of a few more people. And we're in 32nd now. Again behind Dale Jr. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, I'm gonna hit the wall. No, I'm not. Ah. There we go. A little bit better on that time. But since I'm not in a pack or anything, I'm just not able to catch up to anyone. I mean, who am I kidding? How the hell can you pack race a Pocono? You can't pack race a Pocono, dude. <laughs> Kyle Busch takes the lead again from Trevor Bain. So it's going to be Bain, Bush, and Biffle that are going to be major contenders for this win. Oh, I might have run my fast slap again. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, 50-12. Almost got it. Almost got my fastest lap of the race. Well, well, I got my fastest lap of the race, but I mean, I almost got a 49-second lap. There we go. Able to hold the inside, then jump up. Get a good run off the corner. Just like I only need to. Now I just need to do turn two and three the same way. 21st now. There we go. Good jump. About the same time, almost, I guess. And right, now I just need to not hit the wall or do anything stupid. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 me, go. Yes, 49.97. Perfect. Just what I needed. Now I'm in 14th. Behind Harvick now because Dale pitted. There we go. Holding the inside line. I'm going to hit the wall. Yeah, I hit it. I tapped the wall with my side. Now Kyle still got the lead, but he is not pitting yet. <laughs> he must be trying to do some pit stuff too. Considering he got the lead when he pit. Oh, Austin Dillon's got the lead now. So the RCR cars, other than Paul Menard, have gotten the lead today. Which is very weird indeed, because Austin isn't the, really the type of guy you'd think would be racing good at Pocono. 
And I might lead a couple more laps on this one. Maybe this will turn out like Kansas, only like less eventful because I'm not actually trying to race with some people. Okay, so I'm in fifth now behind Regan Smith again. Arguably Truex Jr. and somebody else. So let's see what happens. There you go, good inside run, I guess. Right now, uh, oh, nope, Dylan's not pitting. No, he did pit. Oh, hey, that means I can lead a couple more laps than just one. As I completely screw that corner up. Or not. It's actually a pretty fast run. Hmm. Nah, not really. It didn't really help much. Well, it helped a little bit. Truex got the lead, but I'm going to take the lead now. I know my boss. I know. Okay, now I have a good way to run turn three now. I cut high, then I cut low. I'll try that next time. Okay, let's see who's in the... The Bane still got it. Ah, dang it, I'm at the wall. Keep it in the wall, in the same area. Okay, I'll try that again. All right, there we go. Now try cutting down. God dang it, it didn't work. I stayed in the middle. But okay, now I'm gonna leave a couple more laps though. So that's good. Bane's 19 seconds behind, so he's gonna overtake me a lot faster than me. Oh man. I know, bro. Dang it, I should have made this race a little bit shorter. Crap, I'm at the wall. No, I'm not. Well. I was kind of hoping this would turn out like Auto Club, but that went out the window very early. But I knew it wasn't going to turn out like that because Pocono is a freaking impossible race to run in this game. Okay, so I'm going to run one more lap on this strategy. I think everybody else is can make it to the end on one more stop because they're not going to stop at that far that long after me. So I'm going to, when I pit, and everybody else pits, I think they'll, yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to pit this lap, but yeah, I think when they pit in the next couple laps, they can make it on fuel, I will not, unless I can save a bunch, like I have been doing, or at least trying to do, kind of all depends on how that goes, so here we go, Bane's nearly 15 seconds behind me now, okay, here we go. Let's try turn two again. There we go. Great run through the corner there. But we're going to have to pit this time. We got no gas left. And hit the thing that makes a rumbly sound. Rumbly, rumbly, rumbly. Okay, and here comes Bane. He's by himself. He's got nobody drafting with him, yet he's just pacing everybody. I'm gonna laugh if he actually wins. Alright, so go down a little bit more on the wedge and go down a little bit more on the track bar. The trap bar. Track bar. And I'll see how that goes. But yeah, Trevor Bain is literally by himself right now. It's in a whole nother world when it comes to his pitch strategy. Well, not by his pitch strategy, but by his, like, racing. He's running, like, when. That thing happened, it must have propelled him like light years ahead of what they're normally able to do with this track. So that's pretty good, Trevor Bain breaking the tide. I'm doing that in the opposite way. Alright, so I gained one spot on that pitch strategy because David Rudman pitted. Okay. So I'm going to try to stay out as long as I can on this pitch strategy right now. Trevor Bain coming on David Rudman. Ambrose still ahead of me a lot farther ahead of me now. Okay, let's see what we can do. He hold me inside line. Good. Good corner. Just see. I'm just gonna test it. See how it goes. Oh my God! People have already pitted. Ah, dang! I'm at the wall again. Or not? Ha <laughs> ha. 
All right, we got some easy positions again. 29th now. All right, here we go. Man, I can't wait to get my parts upgraded. Because braking sucks. Huh, I'm not that far. I wasn't that far from beating my personal best. I want to see if I can do that. All right, Bane pits. Bush takes the lead back. Okay. So Biffle ain't going to get a win. That's for sure. Now, unless I can make it on this, like, out of the world, like, just saving, I might win, but I don't think so. I don't think that's going to happen. Good job. Really good. Come on, man. Yeah, really good. Now I'm in 18th. <laughs> Alright, let's try saving now. Conserve as much fuel as possible. That's all I'm really focused on right now, despite the fact that I'm running close to my fastest lap right now. <laughs> yeah, so based on the pitch strategy, I think Bane can make it to the end. Maybe Kyle can make it to the end, I guess. If Bane can't make it to the end. Okay, so here we go. Coasting in the corner here. All right, a couple more people pitted, but not many. All right, ten to go now. So ten to go, trying to make it here. Let's try it. Just keep it, keep it slow. Keep conserving as much gas as possible. All right, Kyle Bush is here. Oh, we got a caution. And this saves me. This saves my ass. Oh, no. Bubba dies. Oh, man. No, he just spun out. But, like, he spun out in the inside pit lane. This just wasn't like what happened to Mark Martin at that one race. I'm pitting, motherfucker. I need some gas. And damn it, that's gonna pave the way for the wave around, but hey, at least I get some fucking gas. And Biffle pits with us? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna let the game do its thing on that one. I'm not even gonna touch it. Splash with two tires. Yeah. There you go. Splash with two tires. <laughs> Maybe that'll get us a good positioning. Oh, never mind. I just took a splash. Ah, fuck it. Worn tires might actually help us. Just take a splash. That takes eight seconds. Oh! First off pit road, though. 14th, though. I'm on the outside. Trevor Bain takes his lead back. All right, so I think maybe he can make it now. He can make it now, definitely. Ah, dang, I should have checked to see who's lap down or not. Stupid. Okay, then. Let's try it. Maybe I can get good positioning. Maybe I can't. Ah, the tires weren't that worn anyway. Okay. We're right side by side with Bubba. Bubba's got some damage everywhere. I'm right, going to block Dylan. He led the race at one point. Uh, hold the inside line. There we go. But everybody's going around me on the outside because that's fun. Oh, crap. I killed Carl. <laughs> Man, he just flew all the way to the back. Backwards. Okay, there goes Truex now. Crap. No, three wide. No, you don't go three wide at Pocono. That never works. Same thing with Indianapolis. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, right in front of the field. Saves it. Saves it. Amazing save. And I killed Menard. Or not. Now everybody's going around me on the inside. Ah. Well, this isn't going to be a good finish, but that was exciting, wasn't it? That was really exciting. I turned Jimmy in front of the field, in front of the, in front of the pack we were in, and... It somehow saved. Oh, they hit the they hit the thing, they hit the thing, and they almost killed each other, and me. 
Now we're in 31st. Biffle's starting to move really fast through the field. And Nett's running surprisingly well. I'm going to go to his inside. Ah, dang it. Too fast. Uh, well, there goes that plan. Oh, crap. And now Carl's going to kill me. Ah. Leave me. Oh, people pitting already. Josh Wise. Okay. <laughs> now we're finally racing. Maybe somebody screwed up on the pit strategy and I will get some more positions. Oh, crap. Hold low, hold low, hold low. Then jump high. 40th. Well... Damn it. Not the greatest thing in the world. And I'm at the wall again. But it's not going to matter because they slowed each other down. Whee! And Castle came behind me. Oh, God, that sounded wrong. Oh, dude, that was terrible. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Landon Castle. Oh, shit. Okay, people are pitting now. I hit the wall. Okay, I'm losing people again. Vickers has got the lead again. Good job, Vickers. Maybe I can win this on pitch strategy. God, I hope not. Because it's probably going to take the win away again. It's just... It's like, I've, I've had it happen twice now. Technically three if you count the lap traffic thing, but like... Oh man, my car's damaged already. Well... Well, we got a new sponsor. We're trying to see what we can do with the car, and... Well, that didn't work exactly like I wanted. Keep losing time. Alright, let's try just... Going smooth and calm. Tam 4. Because we got everybody else pitting. Oh, whoa. He smoked it. He did smoking the bandit. Four to go and 26 now. So we won't lose too many positions if I... If it ends like this. But it won't. Unless there's like a bad pit road thing again. Like with Bubba Wallace. Stanley, I'm sorry I couldn't get you a win in the first race. But we're trying here. Figures might win. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Carl's right there. I don't know why I'm not able to hold turn two well. That's what's really been killing me is turn two. Not really turn three. Like it has been. Alright, there we go. Hold the thing. Cut up the track a little bit. More people pitting. Oh, Almondinger's got the lead. Oh, man. This might be the biggest upset of the century. Because he won at, uh, he won at Watkins Glen in 2013. He might get himself another win. He gonna make the chase again. Uh, Alright, we're in 17th now. We're running a little bit faster than our regular, than our normal time, so. Well, not my normal time, my fastest lap, so. Try this one more time. No! I can't get turn freaking three right. Well, tur turn two right. Coming to two to go now. No! He pitted! No! My boy! Now Brad's got the lead. Well, that means I'm not going to get very good positioning on the finish because the game's going to knock me back a couple spots at least. I'll at least get the top ten because they can't bump me from that. Okay, there we go. Turn one. Yikes, 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 Ah, keep it in the wall. So Brad's in, Brad's in first. He might win. He hasn't had too good of a season. He's been trying, though. Much better turn two that time. Getting kind of low on gas, but screw it. And Brad's not, no, he is pitting this lap weird option oh and nobody else pits yep that's a win I'm not gonna get it's my boy yeah I'm not gonna win this race I got the lead but I'm not gonna win it 
It's done this to me before. It first did it to me at this track, but that was more due to a time penalty. But whatever. Because that, that kind of happened. Oh, Tony's in second, though. Go. Go me. Go. I got to go there faster because if Tony's in second, that'd be awesome. There we go. Oh, that was a much better turn, too, that time. Maybe I can get the fastest lap. Maybe I can get the fastest lap. Oh, Ryan Reed is in second. Oh, my God. We got an Xfinity upset for the top two. Trevor Bain's not going to get in it. Oh, God. If they make Tre uh, Ryan Reed win, that's going to be so disappointing. Yeah, baby, yeah. yeah I win again. You're just and now I broke Tony's um, record again. It's the second time I've done this. Yeah, that's a, uh, yeah, even though I did this already, <laughs> but I'm taking a Matt Kenseth throwback to victory lane, so at least I did that. I'm not sure if the game will give me that win. I'll be so mad if it doesn't. I don't know how many times this is going to do it to me. Maybe I can do something else this time. And by something else, I mean freaking Alan Kuwicki's Polish victory lap. I'm going to do it. There we go. Now I got myself something. Polish victory lap, baby. Wow. Oh, crap. That's a little weird trying to run the backwards. It's like, man, that's something also I wish that the EA, that not the EA games, that, that, that 704 games could have taken from the EA games and let you run the race backwards. Because that was like one of the funniest things in the EA games to try to do. Polish victory lap. I'm going in Shane. I'm going Shane. And I was on. I'm doing the Martin Tricks Jr. where I was doing it with no gas, but I actually had a little bit of gas left. It would have been a Chase Elliott. And they both did that at Watkins Glen. They would have had a, It was like, oh, no, no gas, but Tricks actually had gas. Chase Elliott didn't. And their respective wins. And now breaks. Oh, crap. That didn't even do anything. Okay, never mind. But I did the Polish victory lap for the first time, finally. Freaking finally! I took my Stanley throwback into the... Well, my Matt Kansas throwback to victory lane. I still got a black jumpsuit for some reason, though. I got it. There's a Hendrick guy. Well, I guess we're sponsored. We got an alliance with Hendrick since we're Chevy now. Well, well since we are Chevy. This Grant Cup. Yes! They gave me the win. So I led five, five laps. Brad managed to get second. Truex got third. Uh, Jimmy fourth. Tony fifth. So he got a top five out of that. Kyle six laps led and finished in sixth. Six, six. We're missing another six. And otherwise, it would confirm he's the devil. Or at least part of the Illuminati. Dale got seventh. That's good. Biffle got tenth. So he, uh, eight. So he got he, he made that pitch strategy pay off. And he had led 10 laps, and David Reagan's got got ninth, so he's he's gotten a couple more top 10s. That's pretty good. Harvick, top 10. Ryan Reed got 11th, so a good run by him and Josh Wise and David Rudeman. AJ Allmendinger was so close to the victory. Trevor Bain could have made it a huge upset, but he didn't. And Gordon led one lap and disappeared. <laughs> and Denny Hamlin all the way back here for some reason, even though Pocono is one of his best tracks. Same thing with Kenseth. Not the best lap thing. It's just like, why is he back here? <laughs> okay. So let's see where we are in the standings. Oh boy, I'm leading the standings. I got four wins and nine top tens. I have blown it out of the water. Tony, not only Tony Stewart's rookie season, but Carl Edwards' four win uh, trial season in 2004. So that's awesome. That is amazingly epic. Truex is coming up in the standings. He's in the top 16 now. That's good. Back as Lafke, he's improving. Bubba Wallace continuing to falter, but he's still in 14th. Just outside this chase. Almendinger got two positions. And he's just, like, screwed up hard. Oh, hold on a second. 
Alright, and uh, Landon Castle is now the butt end of the field. Uh, well, where did Tri how many positions did Trevor Bain get? He got two. And Vickers got a couple, got a spot too. This is only a second top ten. Okay. How many tolls? He's got, Tully's gotten three poles and he hasn't won a single race yet. That's just weird. But okay, let's see what else we got. Nothing else, no sponsors, because I think we're full on that type of stuff. Uh, what the heck am I doing? Okay, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. And now, we'll be going to Michigan for the next race. And then Sonoma. That one I'm going to be keeping some high hopes for. Michigan, not so much.